Today's topic is Google history. If you go out to the Google website, and instead of just google.com, you put a slash history on the URL, it will take you to a page where you can control what you see about the history you have with things you've done that relate to Google. It tells you right on this page that you are the only person that can see this data, and that's partially true. This data is stored by Google, so obviously Google has all of this data. So anything you can see here is something that Google has. If you click on the update setting, it'll take you to a page where you can click the little toggle and then turn on your ability to see your history. So you can see now the little toggle is blue. My history is active. Now, after a few days, you'll start seeing some things show up on your history page. So if you go back to that URL slash history and you want to know what you searched for yesterday, you can go back to yesterday and you can see what you searched for. Or if you click on the calendar and go back in time to a certain day, let's go back to the end of March, March 31st. I click on March 31st. It shows me hour by hour what I searched for on that day. It's a little creepy. It gets creepier. Over here is location history, where I am at certain times. If you have a smartphone, your smartphone keeps track of you. It keeps track of where you are. And if you use any Google service, if you do a Google search from your phone, Google knows where you are in addition to what you search for. In fact, here is my personal Google history for my location information. I did not tell Google where I live or where I work. It figured that out on its own. I also didn't tell it that I went to Chicago, but it detected that I was in Chicago. I have not been to Chicago for four or five years. But if I click on one of those red dots, it'll show me a location I went to in Chicago. I visited a Frank Lloyd Wright house. Now, if I click on it again, it'll show me the path I took to drive to Chicago. And over on the left, it tells me on April 23rd, I was at the Roby House from 11.17 a.m. to 12.18 p.m., which, as far as I remember, I was there right before lunch. It's incredibly accurate, something from five years ago. So if you've never looked at your Google history, this is something you should take a look.